healthy during this crisis. But how do you do that if your fitness center is closed? WVTM 13's Lisa Crane shows us how one CrossFit gym is keeping its members moving. Gyms are not considered essential businesses, so they are all shut down right now. But many gym owners are figuring out ways to offer their members a way to work out online. At CrossFit Gardendale, co-owner Carrie Cotney is coaching a virtual workout with members tuning in through the Zoom app. Come on, Jennifer, you got it. Most of the members don't have complete gyms at home, so they get creative on how to do some of the prescribed movements. So they've all been virtual workouts, um, and everybody's just kind of trying to come up with some piece of equipment that they can use. It's nice when it's this way because everybody's kind of on here together, rooting each other on. So it's uh, it's definitely different. It's not the gym, but it makes up a big void up it by yourself. Today we had kettlebell swings and we had people using cinder blocks um, and just weights. So we've really tried to encourage each, each other in coming up with, you know, different variables of the workout. Carrie is the only one in the gym that just three weeks ago would have been bustling. She says it's been difficult, but is hopeful this small business will survive. And we're just praying that's what we can do right now is that we are able to stay open and to you know come through this. But without our base core of members, um, you know, there's no way that we can make it without them. Um, and you know, if we're shut down, you know, many more months, it's, it's definitely going to be, be a struggle. In Gardendale, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13.